very clear that we're alternating down the stone. Right? We'll see opposite. Right? So this, here's what you can say. Why? Well, what do I know? You know it's not a maple ash or a dog. We haven't got the other two. Mad, mad gives you what you need for next week. We did Capricoliaceae then, remember, tap. So it's not a maple ash or a dog. It's something else. Like this. The conifers, there's separate ways to tell them apart. So you also know it's not a conifer. I think we do like four or five of those. Something with needles. So this is alternate. This is an American beach. Okay, American beach. So since you don't have the fact sheets, the best thing to do is try to, don't try to write everything down, but get go away, get down like the my top three, four things. Like you want to do this, this, and this. The first thing is alternate. That's a, you now know that about that. This is a, what type of a leaf? Simple or compact? Simple, yep. One, one leaf blade, one little petiole, that's called, right? A few other little things. We're learning terminology, too. See, look what's got on the margin of the leaf. It's got ridges or teeth. Yeah, that's called serrated. So it's a simple serrated leaf, like serration on a serrated knife. Maybe a serrated bread knife. You know? So a simple serrated leaf. And feel the leaf. What's it feel like? That's a, that's a really actually pretty good thing. The top surface is very, very waxy. So that, that's something you can use too, so a really waxy leaf. That's called the labor. So look, look at those alternate buds, right? Who needs the leaves, right? They don't ever have them in the winter, right? Alternate buds. What this is going to do, and this is a really good feature, they're going to have very long buds. Now right now you're like, well, that's not that. They're literally going to triple in size in the next three to four weeks. There is a lot, you don't need to know this for to identify it, there's a ton of activity going on in that bud right now. A lot of cell division. It's growing for next year, and then it'll sit there, and then all this will come out of it next spring. So it literally, they're going to be, like, you're going to think they're thorns. So you might write alternate, yes. Buds that look like thorns, yes. Beach. American beach. They have a little, they have a burry, like little burrs, a burry husk. Inside, this is shriveled up, is a beech nut that's shaped like a triangle. Yeah, I was just, yeah, yeah. Let's get that. There we go. So there, it looks like, you know, one of those furs that get stuck in your jackets and stuff. And then, they're not ripe yet, but up inside there, they'll split open and two little triangular seeds will fall out. And almost all trees, the bark is different when it's young versus old. Most of the time, it's smooth when young, and it turns into some pattern. You're going to see a bunch of patterns, because we picked the trees on purpose to show you a bunch of patterns. Beach. The bark is smooth and gray when it's little, and it's smooth and gray when it's big. And uh, that's really the only tree you're going to have all semester that does that. I mean, that, that, that beach could be you know, two feet around, smooth as poured concrete. And then all the other bark is going to turn into some pattern. So that's basically it. The short list, alternate, yes. Big, long buds, yes. Uh, you could do the... I can't really tell you what your second or third thing is, but the waxy leaf, yes. You can use the smooth bark, yes. Uh, simple leaf, you have to decide. Alternate's the first one.